All right, guys, welcome back. No cheese with you for another part of episode one, Back to the Future, the game. See, the last time the DeLorean arrived back in 1986 without Doc, just a shoe and Einstein. Yeah, buddy. And with the scent, he's trying to tell us something. Let's take a look around. He's facing that door. Liquor store. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you guys so much for all the support. All the comments, you know, likes, everything like that always helps. Encourage me to keep pumping these out. I intend on finishing this 100%. Got all five episodes on the disc. Let's see what Einstein has to say. What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? Why couldn't Doc have invented a dog translator? All right. Einstein is not really helping out. He's stuck over there. The arcade? I guess there's time for a quick game. What? You don't get to take me in there? Okay, now I'm ready. What the? Alright. Anyway. Let's see what these are all about. Can I get a job? No? Alright. But, um, no, thank you so much. I'm gonna keep cranking these out. Oh, here's the buzzer. Mr. Strickland. Go ahead, hit it. Hit it. Step away from the door. <laughs> now, let me get a look at you. Einstein, come on. Just as I suspected. Hooligans. Get along now. Scat. I got something for you. I'm no hooligan. I'm, no hooligan. I'm not a hooligan, ma'am. I'm a... A teenager. I wasn't born yesterday, young man. Aren't you the miscreant who skateboards through the town square every morning between 8 and 8.30 in a decidedly unpunctual manner? Uh, yeah? All skateboarders are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. All right, you old bat. Who are you anyway? Where's Mr. Strickland? E. Strickland? You aren't related to, uh, Vice Principal Strickland, are you, ma'am? Not that it's any of your business, but I'm his sister, Edna. Oh, and you're one of those McFly slackers, aren't you? Yes, uh, what's old man Strick? I mean, what else has your brother been saying about me? Nothing I couldn't have deduced for myself, slacker. <laughs> you wake up the whole neighborhood with that bullhorn. You think this is a riot? I got something for you. <laughs> Gonna be like Black Sheep where he goes, hold on, I got something for you. Just bam, flips, a, flips him off, Colonel Drake, savage. I got something for Can you. Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. Uh, Alright, let's get the shoe. Mysterious shoe. Nah. No, show her the shoe. I haven't got all day. <laughs> ah, you're trying my patience, young man. How do I show her the shoe? Well, let's try Einstein Stay probably your here. business, child. You're making me miss Merv. Well, see, that's the thing. I I'm not sure why I'm here. Uh, Einstein here brought me, and... Well? Alright, fine. I got some for you. Let me, let me show the shoe. I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. Alright, got the shoe. Make sure that's on deck. Here. Here's your shoe. A shoe? Now, now what would I want with a... Huh? <gasps> What the? Can I help you? Yeah, keep it moving. What you looking at? Leave that creature outside. Sorry, Einstein. I'll be back. Uh, I'll be back, Einie. Don't worry, little buddy. Well, 
took you long enough. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Hmm, much better. So neat and orderly. Nah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward. Why would you now? hold on to only no, one shoe? I... <laughs> All I've got is tea and candy. But I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Uh, Have a seat, Sonny. What the? Oh, she's a hoarder. That's why she kept that shoe. Hey, Look at that. You kids! Just it was an. Put out those cigarettes. <laughs> The neighborhood watch. She's a hoarder. She collects all these papers. Like, uh, what is it on A and E? Those people that have that illness. They collect dolls. Or, like the whole house is filled. You can't. It's no even place to sleep. Jesus. I mean, at least hers is in order. The ones on the show is just. I don't know. It's a nightmare everywhere. Don't touch those. Yeah. My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. All right, so <laughs> we're not gonna go messing. So she has OCD as well. Huh. An old lady and cat bowls. That's candy and uh, cat bowls. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Miss Pretty Whiskers is very particular about who handles her food. All right. If we're gonna get her out of the room, I think we gotta poke around a little bit more. Why would you hold on to that one? Oh, like I said, if you're if you're like a hoarder, you're OCD, and those weird ass statues up there of the cats, some Egyptian statues. Shoes. Einstein uh, take your that shoes. shoe from the past, <laughs> but when in the past? All right, let's talk to her and find out when she lost her shoe. Uh, Miss Strickland. Jack, Diane. Jeez. Hey, <laughs> know what you're doing behind that tree? Yes. <laughs> Need your medication? Alright, when did you lose the Remember shoe? Remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe! Huh. Hi, what a nosy Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. But... Oh, fine, let me think about it. Uh... Yes, I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. <gasps> when was it? Oh, yes. The day that speakeasy burned down. <laughs> a speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. <laughs> Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. <laughs> all right, an illegal speakeasy. What's with all? I'll go back to that one. Just... What's with all these newspapers? This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out! Every single issue from 1871 to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stacks. So you're gonna should definitely find Doc in there somewhere. Just gotta get her, get her out of there. Uh, nice binoculars. Doing some stargazing? No, oh, I set my sights on <laughs> lower things. Is that? Here we go. Chad, uh, uh, Chad! <laughs> Uh-huh. Let's see about I the I guess newspapers. somewhere in these stacks, there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. Yeah, I probably wrote it myself. I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. Oh, yeah, she's just full of personality. 
Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town while honest citizens quaked in their beds. Uh, okay, where exactly? Give me an address. But where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hooch... No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a, a student of history. Student of history? My Aunt Fanny! Yeah, your generation of hooligans and slackers could give two ripe things about history. Miss Strickland? Oh, video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats uh. today. <laughs> so the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. Alright, let's... I can't take well, this conversation anymore. Business. Let's get this going. You there! Don't even think about tossing that Kleenex on the ground! Holy... <laughs> All right, they showed the stove for a reason. We got to get through those papers, so let's get her tea boiling. My eardrums can't take it, guys. <laughs> uh, Miss Strickland, about your tea, uh, you forgot to turn on you! the. It's spelled with a U. You illiterate vandal! <laughs> you know what? We'll just that tea's never gonna boil. Then let's just go through the door, bruh. That tea's never gonna boil. Alright. Let her sit there. It'd be nice to go through the newspaper. Right, what's the pictures? <laughs> Is that Vice Principal what the? <laughs> Mother never could keep little Gerald like out of Nor her clothes. Young Norman Bates. Alright, so the shoes and newspapers. Alright, let's get out of here. Would you mind if I stepped out for a minute? I, I just remembered a video I've got to return. Do you have to go? I get so few visitors yep, these gotta days. Gotta go, gotta go. But... And I'd hate to have to tell my brother, your vice principal in charge of discipline, how rude you were to me. <laughs> Especially with graduation coming up and all. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta keep me hostage here, old lady. What are these? My editorial trophies. Cat Lover's Quarterly. It's legitimate journalism. Yeah, all right. Okay, let's see. How do I... Cat trophies, no thank you. More pictures. Man, she keeps it hot in here. That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. Then don't touch anything. That's the, ra that's the radiator about to blow up. All right, let's search this. Let's toss this apartment real quick. Get the hell out of here, guys. All right. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Newspapers. All right. I'll take those. Hey, uh, mind if I use your binoculars for a sec? Go ahead, dear. Ah. Oh, that's not a regular video store, guys. Brown bag. Rebuilt in Triple February, X. 1932. <laughs> so the fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date. Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. <laughs> I told you right. not to touch those. Let's get her, uh... Let's get that tea back. Tea back. Wow, I can't even speak. Let's get that tea going again. There's the whistle. Surely the water's boiling by now. Alright. Let's look, let's look, let's look. No, no. Newspaper. Let's see. Ground broken on site of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure gave way to old-fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his... Carl Sagan. Carl Sagan. 
No, Doc. Killed by a mob. What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. Oh, she gonna flip her shit. Run. My newspapers! Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let me... Ow! You've gotten my history out of order. Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Ow! Oh, get out! Get run, out, run, run, run. <laughs> There's a oh, freaky lady. picture on the wall. I'm being attacked by hooligans! <laughs> Alright, let's see. Got himself all dressed up for the 30s. Marty! Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? Uh... Halloween. Uh, it's a costume for school. It's a Halloween party. It's a costume. Uh, tonight's the big uh, Halloween party. Halloween party? In May? Oops. <laughs> Never mind. You don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing. Right? I oh, hope yeah, so. 100%. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. You'll barely know I was gone. All right, Einstein, let's roll. You ready to go, Einstein? All right. Let's see. Let's plug in time circuits. I've got to turn on the time oh, circuits first. Right. I gotta. I gotta watch the movie. I got the box set, so I gotta go watch the movies again. Time circuits. Ah, flux capacitor, flux capacitor uh, fluxy. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm a geek. I'm a geek, guys. All right, we want to input June 14th. Okay, if Doc's gonna get killed on June 14th, 1931, I'll just show up the day before and get him out. I hope you know what you're doing, Doc. Copyright strike. Let's get the Back to the Future theme. Yeah, buddy. Buddy, oh, guys, I'm a big kid when it comes to this stuff, so don't don't mind me. Sometimes I get caught. Einstein, where do you go just now? Just taking boy? it all in. Watch out!
Young man, excuse me, young man. Who, uh, me? You're the only man in the street, and I'm looking for a man in the street reaction. Naturally, you know about the explosion that destroyed this illegal gin establishment. I read about it, yeah. What's your opinion of Carl Sagan, the stranger who single-handedly did what the law has been unable to do for ten long years, namely, rid Hill Valley of the scourge of liquor? Uh... No docs in the cop shop. Uh, I'm a supporter. There's been some sort of mistake. Been... There's gotta be some sort of mistake here. Doc, I mean, uh, uh, Carl wouldn't do something like that. It's surprising the lengths a person will go to when it's a clear-cut matter of right and wrong. You've got an honest look about you. You do support the side of righteousness, I trust. Uh, I'm a supporter. I know Doc. I'm a supporter. You can mark me down as a supporter. The young man said, flashing a boyish yet virile grin. Hill Valley needs more upstanding youths like yourself. Do you have a message for the vicious gangsters who still roam these streets? No doubt plotting to corrupt our citizens with another den of booze, sin, and debauchery. Where can I find him? Coming for you, baby. Ask him where I can get the address. Ah, I see. Because you want to blast it to smithereens just like Carl Sagan did. With public-spirited citizens like you around, the lawless element will be on the run in no time. Mr. May I get your name? Yeah, it's... Sonny Crockett, Harry Callahan, Michael Corleone. <laughs> uh, Harry Callahan is Dirty Harry, played by Clint Eastwood. Or Michael Corleone, the Godfather. Well, that was Marlon Brando then. And Al Pacino took over, Michael Corleone. I'll go with Dirty Harry. Harry Callahan. Thank you for sharing your candid opinions, Mr. Callahan. Edna Strickland, Hill Valley Herald. I know. I met you back. I mean, I'm familiar with your work. You read my column? How sweet! I know it's just an etiquette column, but I believe it'll lead to bigger and better... Oh! Einstein, no! Down, boy! Is this wretched creature yours? He assaulted me once before! What's got into you? Aggressive dogs must be kept on leash at all times. It's the law. Look it up! Yeah, she's still a bee, no matter, uh, no matter what the game dogs. is. Alright guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end it here, and when I come back, we will be going after Doc to bust him out of the cop shop. If there's anything else you guys want to see, shoot me uh, an email, some comments, let me know, because I'll be plowing through Back to the Future, but I'll keep other stuff on deck as well. And with that being said, I will see you guys on the flip side.